Hello and welcome back. And that's right, today I want to talk about the subject that's been bubbling around in the world of NAS servers, just general data for the better part of four months. I'm of course talking about that rather significant investment by Linus, LTT, LMG, whatever you want to label the Linus Tech Tips platform, this massive $250,000 investment in a new NAS software. Now, this video is probably going to go on for a decent few minutes, but I'll be frank with you, to save you a lot of time, the TLDR is nice and simple, and there should be an article linked in the description. Um, Linus has uh, declared uh, in December that he was going to, he was thinking about investing $250,000 in a brand new NAS solution. At that point, it was just labeled a solution. Then later on in January, he then went ahead and confirmed after, you know, reaching out to the rest of the community and basically getting their thoughts and intake on it because he cared a lot about that. Uh, and then he proceeded with that investment and that it was going to be a powerful NAS software platform that was built around usability ease of use and something that he felt was sadly lacking in the world of network attached storage software whether that is your turnkey your synology your QNAP, your whatever os is or if you're going open source with the likes of unraid and TrueNAS, which although they are incredibly flexible and powerful they are also very convoluted and have a significant learning curve for a lot of people now the other thing while going through a lot of the sources that i'll talk about later in this video is regarding who's involved and apparently is at least two X unraid employees the two names in the fold i actually had to refresh my page because i was updating this article just before recording but the two names that have been bubbling to the surface around the unraid community um who are ex unraid are john p or john panozo uh, who was a former Unraid and Lime Tech employee, and the other one was um, Eric Schlutz. But that one, there's less grounding online for that. Now, these were two employees that were tasked with uh, Im improving and modernizing and improving the UI of elements of Unraid there. And it looks like, you know, that is pretty much going to be their speciality in what they're doing. And these are uh, long-time um, uh, you know colleagues i'm not sure about friends i'm presuming friends uh with linus himself and they've kind of had this same ideal nas solution and it looks like this is an incredible passion project for all involved and although you know two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is a lot of bunts so let's be realistic it also sounds like there are other investors one of which is a nas company as called out by linus near now that is pretty much the bullet points right now if you go to the article linked in the description let's close that ad they annoy everyone don't they if you go to the bottom i've linked um to uh currently i think it's four possibly five sources um majority at the moment is of course the wan show where he has discussed it quite publicly with his followers there on that you know the wan show incredible we all know it um and i've taken the time to uh, dictate everything that's said there so you can get into a little bit more of the detail about everything that's going on there but this video is more about centralizing all of that information because there's one big takeaway even though this is a story that's been bubbling around for the better part for four and a half months it's not really one place where all this information had been pushed together and that's what i've been trying to do here with this article over on nas compare i'm going to update this as much as i can so again even though i'm probably not going to make another video on this subject until the software is officially revealed in whatever form it's going to be i am going to be updating this article as soon as information appears either that's what information i find eddie find or you guys send to me but most of the information as i say when it comes to official sources over at ltt and linus himself come from those one show podcast episodes uh, the most interesting one i would say is the one in relation to the wd cyber incident we talked about on the channel before and that one really is worth a good watch they're all linked in that description so you can go ahead and click and it'll open up into a new tab and watch those there sadly i don't think i can just show you the clips here on youtube i think that would be breaking about eight thousand rules um it'd be lovely to have permission to do that maybe i should ask um but again a simple google if you just look up ltd nas investment it will give you all of that information you need there you'll be able to see all of that and sorry i'm on page two if you go to page one it's all there that you need all the information but it's all in different locations so for example one of the initial reddits that came out straight afterwards on our home lab is where they started talking about that investment and even at this point because no it wasn't really defined as a software solution even the conjecture at this point was talking about this middle ground uh between pre-established turnkey and os included nash your synologies and your 
of QNAPs. And then on the other hand, you had uh, your open source, your Unraid, your TrueNAS, your Open Media Vault, all of those platforms where it's DIY. But as I've been talking about on the channel now, for what feels like a year, this middle ground between the two is expanding. Whether it is, you know, things like that store axer that we've been following there, which obviously one of the reasons we're covering it is whether it's going to be a success or not, it's about this developing attitude that people do always good and people want to build it themselves but people, a lot of people do not have the technical nails to do that or do not have the time they're money rich time poor and therefore they want a ready-made solution but they don't want to go with the os that arrives with it sometimes they want to use the ones that they're aware of and even then you've got other users who once again money rich time poor and they are looking at um, true NAS, and it's not user friendly. It just isn't. It is a great, incredibly safe platform, but I don't think anyone could look at true NAS and say, well, that's a doddle. It just isn't. Same goes with Unraid. And again, uh, Linus goes into way more detail on this in those videos. Do check that out. But even Unraid, Unraid is, is incredibly sophisticated and easy to expand platform with incredibly low resource bite but it's still not that user friendly and of course there is performance dips there with the way they handle the parity but the idea that these guys would be working together these xm unraid employees to create an unraid like platform in its utility but be user friendly and easy like a synology or a QNAP, which even in of themselves still have something of a, a learning curve to the inexperienced user, not the standard enthusiast, then I think this is something exciting. So I can 100% see why he would put some significant backing behind that. And again, do go through that article because it goes in a lot more detail. But when they're talking more and more about it, over the months, obviously Reddit has been a primary source of discussion on there, but between the Linus uh, Tech Tips forum and Unraid forums, that is probably where the most active discussion on this has been taking place. Case in point, um, if we looked at, and again, this was one of the, I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand uh, that everyone has a point of view in this, and I think there is significant doubt to be had that it is even possible to build a truly powerful and capable NAS platform and maintain it as truly user-friendly. There is, of course, doubt that that exists. But I think given the developing middle ground between the turnkey and the um, total open source or DIY camps, I think this middle ground is enough that there will be people that will try to climb this mountain. So although this comment here, incredibly long, um, then gets slowly ripped apart by a lot of people, by people questioning the motivation behind it, it has to be stated that at the same time, I think there is at least enough reason to be doubtful of that because we've had all these now softwares for so long yet they're always uh, stumbled at that first user-friendly hurdle and then all too often we have a system like the wds like the anchor i've got there at the back that anchor nas that try to be incredibly user-friendly which then potentially lead to security vulnerabilities due to either it being too dumb to be used so there's always going to be that middle ground all, all the way between the two of them but definitely 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 do check out the links towards these Unraid uh, forum posts here, because this is where they talk a lot more uh, about the people who are the ex-veterans of Unraid that are around for a while. And whether you look at the connections with Unraid, again, simple Google will sort you, but the links will be in the description. You find out a lot more about the people that have left uh, Unraid slash uh, Lime Tech, the people behind Unraid. And then sort of talking about a lot more about this project as it's been developing there. But there's no single thread, which I'm sure someone on Reddit will no doubt do very, very soon. But this is really it. This is everything put together. This is everything about Eric Schultz. This is the one where he was leaving and there's still discussion about whether he is a name in it. Because it's still quite an old uh, post there. But still, nonetheless, we are going to be keeping an eye on this here on NAS Compares, obviously, because I hope one day to be testing, reviewing, maybe even recommending this software when we're actually using it ourselves on some DIY projects as we go along. But what do you guys think about this? Because, again, there's going to be an element of doubt to this. There's going to be people that are going to think, well, surely if it was possible, it would have been done. You know, people have said that for a long time and it always gets counteracted as a point. But do you think it's possible to make a truly user-friendly NAS software for, you know, DIY enthusiasts, people that care about this subject, and at the same time, 
keep it user friendly yet powerful and capable and secure so do check out the links do go th i mean again he makes a very eloquent point in this when it comes to comparisons against w comparisons with synology and the hardware they're putting out and although their software is great you know you're still paying well over the odds for this so again do check out that article and we will be updating it regularly regardless of the time you're watching this as more information appears but otherwise thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this have yourselves a lovely weekend and i'll see you next time